this is my Royal Model 887 vacuum from 1987. This was a thrift store find. Required a bit of polishing. Um, it was rather well used, but still works perfectly. I've had this for several years now. And uh, the really only blemish is the Royal logo on the bag wore off. But other than that, it's like new. This had to change the headlight bulb. Has the adjust right vacuum thing here. You adjust, know when your um, height adjustment is perfect for the floor. I'll demonstrate that later. Side profile. Screw type adjustment for height. That red cap is an oil port. The rear bearing is sleeve. The front bearing up is a um, ball bearing type, sealed. I have Royal replacement bags, but it also takes uh, Eureka F and G bags. This is what I happen to use. Power switch. Strain relief, quick cord release. I don't have any attachments for it. I've always loved Royal vacuums. Everyone's telling me, get a Kirby, get a Kirby. Well, I actually prefer Royals. But this vacuum is very easy to service. I mean, the brushes, you pop off these plates here and you can change the brushes right there. Again, oil port there. Um, and it can be very easily disassembled. Too. I mean, just changing the headlights a cent. Just flip it up and change the bulb. The belt, same thing, right in the front. The bag, I mean, you can even just twist this and take the bag off altogether. You can wash the bag. It's a cloth bag. And, uh, yeah. And one thing I forgot to mention was this front compartment here. Uh, this is for deodorizer uh, tablets you put in there. So this thing has a lot of uh, features. I really love how their motors sound and everything too as well. I love the Royal Blue, but this is the overall fantastic machine. And even though it's all metal, I mean, it's very lightweight. Now, I have two more Royal vacuums I need to clean up and restore that work as is, but you know, the typical maintenance on them. This came from one of them. It's a late 93 for one of them. It actually has a green bag. This is like a 1990 revision manual here. Tells you even the oil of the motor. Yeah, I don't have any of the attachment pieces. Felt polisher. Let's see about that. Even should you have to hook it up for exhaust. Lifetime warranty. But yeah, as mentioned, this manual is for a newer vacuum I have from the thrift store. But I also have actual Royal bags too. And as you can see, it's nearly identical to that of a Eureka F and G. So to utilize this machine, there's no handle release. It's just kind of falls down like that and stops. It's also a catch. 
and then you can lower it to the ground. But also, you can lock that like that and use it on the stairs. It's that lightweight enough. That's why I like these. They're strong, lightweight, and they work well. So, it's been about a couple weeks in here. Been a little high on the chores. I'll turn it on and demonstrate the adjust right function. this video on the 1987 Royal 887 vacuum. Thanks for watching.